Hello everyone, this is Jyoti Shuran and in today's video, I'll be discussing how to utilize your GATE score to get admission in universities in abroad. Also, I'll be discussing in detail how to sponsor your master's fully funded and do it without spending single money in country in Singapore and using your GATE score only without giving GRE or IELTS, just using your GATE score. If you are have gotten the GATE, a good gate rank, then you can apply for the scholarship name A Star Singha. And before going there, let us discuss in which university you can go and utilize your gate score. So let us begin without delaying. Uh, so these are the universities in Singapore which accept your gate score. And as you can see, the QS ranking is in top 10 as well as in top 30. So you can see uh, first of them is your National University of Singapore, which is excellent school. If you're looking for any kind of job, especially after computer science or other kind of job in Singapore. And then other one is your NTU Singapore. Both of them accept your GATE score. So if you have a GATE score, you can apply to these universities. And I'll be discussing in detail how to get into these universities study in Singapore for free in the later part of this video. And the second uh, one, the other two university which officially now accept the GATE score instead of GRE. So if you have GRE nahi diya hai, but you have given the GATE score and you scored excellent in your GATE score, like you're in top 90 percentile in your GATE score, then you can apply to these two universities in Germany also. One of them is RWTH and the other one is your TU Munich. Both of them excellent. Germany have excellent opportunities for working, especially in the tech field. So you should definitely apply into these universities if you have good gate score. Okay, so now let us discuss how to get into the Singaporean university for free. By free, I mean you will get the scholarship of up to 150%, which will cover your entire tuition fee, entire uh, your uh, expenditure in Singapore, and also you can save money also on top of that, which is approximately around 30 lakh rupees you will get if you get this scholarship. So let us discuss in detail what is the criteria for this scholarship, how you can apply for this scholarship, and what are the documents that are needed for this scholarship. Remember, this is only based on your GATE score. And the deadline for applying for this scholarship for the, uh, for the January intake is your May. So let us discuss in detail. The first thing which you have to do is you have to go to this website called astaredu.sg, which stands for A Star Singer Scholarship. So this is an agency which is sponsored by Singapore Singapore government, which award the which gives the scholarship to international students for your master's, for undergrad, as well as your PhD position. So if you're interested to study here, you should look up for this scholarship. And they mostly give the scholarship to people from almost 100 countries. So they are looking for diversity. So it's not like they're only awarding this scholarship to Singaporean citizen. If you're non-Singaporean citizen, then also you should apply and they accept the GATE score. So let us look at the process of this, how to go about it. So um, the deadline for the January intake will be around your May. So uh, first of all, you'll click on the research area. So this scholarship will only have certain research area, which you can see this is for four universities in Singapore, NTU, your NUS, SMU, School of Computing and Information Science and your SUTD pillars. So, okay, so only for these four university, it provides the scholarship. So first thing you will go and go will, you will see the A star supervisors and project. So if you will click on this, you will open this, okay? So is me kya hai ki supervisors or project jo hai, supervisors to related, they are already available here. For example, if I click on the science and engineering research council, uh, I can see the, these project. So these are around 300 project approximately, with different professor working in these field. So you can look up for these projects and uh, see if your interest is aligned towards this or not. Okay, so uh, we can see like, for example, if you're interested in suppose uh, quantum sensing, so you can contact Professor Lam Ping Kyo 
And similarly, if you're interested in suppose uh, genome or cancer cell detection, you can contact Professor J. W. Shin, and he works with Genome Institute of Singapore. So again, hot topic, very uh, much in demand when it comes for jobs and everything. So what you will do is you will contact him. The um, email is given here. So you'll contact the professor if you have the suitable background for this. For example, I have searched for Professor Jason um jason so you can see like what he is working on and then you write the official email to the professor so if the professor agrees to take you as master's or phd student then you can uh go ahead and then start applying for this scholarship so this scholarship will be awarded to you if a professor which is working under these research area is willing to sponsor you or, or, or is willing to take you so first you have to convince the professor then only he will get this you can apply for singaporean a star singer fellowship so i also applied like this the professor was ready to take me and then i applied through a star singer fellowship so i can guide you related to that okay so if you have decided what supervisor you're going to work for you have decided your research area, the supervisor, you have sent the email, the supervisor is ready to take you. They accept the GATE score instead of GRE and IELTS also you don't have to give if your entire education has been in English, which in India most of the students have. So the other thing will be your eligibility criteria, okay? So the eligibility criteria is you need to have excellent research background. So if you're from good school, if you have certain publication, good gate score, good English uh, speaking skill and have good report or the reference letter. So you will need letter of recommendation for applying to this scholarship. They will have to write the letter of recommendation and submit to A star singer. OK, and now let us discuss how much money it covers. OK, because most of the student don't apply to USC even if they are uh, or in abroad because they think ki bahut paisa lagega. but you can do it for free if you know if you look up for these university or these type of scholarship and if you have an excellent background for example this scholarship will initially cover first of all full tuition fee so you don't have to pay anything it will also provide for your one-time airfare so ticket ke bhi paise nahi lagenge and the other allowance in starting, it will give you 1,000 uh, Singaporean dollar extra Singaporean money so that you can settle there. And the other money will be your Singaporean dollar, 2,700. And after passing the qualifying exam, a qualifying exam hota hai, ek saal ke baad, agar aap wo pass kar jate hain, uske baad you will get $3,200. Similarly, for master's program also, you can apply for same scholarship and the same amount of money you will get. And the living cost is somewhere around 2000 Singaporean dollars. So extra $700 you can save. Okay. So if you want to support your family also, and if so, it's a good way to do this. Okay. So for January 2024, uh, the deadline was in August. So similarly, if you're looking for January 2025, the deadline will be around in August. Okay. So now we'll see what are the requirements for applying. Okay, kya kya requirement chahiye hum iske liye. First thing is you need to check the research area, contact the professor you are interested in. If he is ready, then you have to provide certain document. The first document will be your passport, as you can see, or your photo, recent side, your transcript, the official transcript from your college. Okay, and this academic transfer transcript could be your bachelor's or master's. Okay your uh, two recommendation letters. So you will have to ask your professor to submit your recommendation letter online, okay? And then uh, you have to submit your GRE or GATE score, okay? For example, instead of GRE, they have also mentioned GATE score. Fine, so uh, you can apply if you have a good GATE score in 90 percentile, you should definitely apply. Um, so uh, these are the, and if you want to look at further more things or the, you want to learn more about this scholarship and how, whether you're eligible or not, what are the research areas? So they basically work in these four areas. One is your biomedical, your computer and information science, 
and your engineering and physical science. So they will help you in, you know, uh, pursuing it from the developed country like Singapore. And also you will get everything, all the money, is all, all your uh, expenses are covered. And if you want to know more about it, you can do the scanning of this uh, logo and get to know more about this scholarship. So uh, if you are, have a good GATE score and you are also looking for applying to abroad, please don't hesitate because there are many scholarships and many colleges which accept your GATE score also. So for more such information, keep watching your media and thank you for watching this video. Thank you.